If you've ever had trouble finding someone's house, driving up and down the road looking for those numbers, you can understand the frustration that some first responders have to deal with, and you know, they're in a hurry. They are. As they head out on a call. And it's something most of us probably never even stopped to think about. Is my address visible to crews trying to get to my house mm -hmm. in an emergency? In a WSAZ investigation, News Channel 3's Kelsey Soto explains how your house numbers, or lack thereof, could be holding up help. When an emergency happens, you dial 911 and assume help will arrive quickly. Being able to find you is probably one of the number one priorities. Chad Ward is a Capel County EMS shift supervisor. He says the clock starts the moment a call is placed into the dispatch center. But what you might not realize, something as simple as the way your address is displayed could add seconds or even minutes to the time it takes first responders to get to you. Time you might not have to lose. That can be the difference of whether we find you quick or whether we find something quick and stop it. He's talking about house numbers. County ordinance requires clear, visible house numbers. People need to have their, you know, their addresses, you know, on their on their front of their house, or make sure they're on the mailbox or the ref uh, reflective address signs. Anything that they could do could seriously help, you know, um, get the resources there that is needed. It's a homeowner's responsibility to make sure they're maintained. No fading, peeling, or missing numbers. They recommend big, bold numbers that are well lit. Driving through neighborhoods, we found home after home with addresses that were anything but easy to read. This house right here, what, what's the address here? Uh, looks like 620. Even during the daytime, from the roadway, it can already be hard to see certain numbers just based on their color, size, and placement. Fast forward to nighttime, and those small, hard-to-find addresses become nearly impossible to see. Because you never know what's going to happen at 2 o'clock in the morning. The size of the numbers isn't the only issue that can delay EMS crews. Sometimes the leaves and uh, the tree limbs aren't cut back enough. And sometimes, frankly, people don't have their address. They just don't think about it until they need us or EMS or the police department. Firefighters say not every fire is easy to spot from the road. We have certain addresses um, that we know by heart that we go to all the time. A lot of the Marshall buildings, a lot of the apartment buildings downtown. We know, we know a lot of the numbers, so we know where we're going. But, you know, there's, there's new businesses that change names and stuff. Unfortunately, addresses aren't always logical either. You'll get numbers that run kind of crazy sometimes. Uh, if the house number's 11, for some reason it's between 13 and 16. Crews say that while many addresses may be visible to postal workers, most people don't even think to plan ahead for a life-changing emergency. They've known the mailman for years and, you know, have no problem. He knows exactly where he's going or what number that is, even if there's no number. But we don't. You know, we don't go out there every day. Moments that weigh heavy on the hearts and minds of those racing to your home. That can just be like a desperate sinking feeling because uh, particularly in EMS, as the problem worsens and things are going downhill, they will keep calling back. Your level of uh, anxiety is building up. It's like, man, I, I'm, in, I'm in the right area. I should be fine in this. Now, a couple of points. Mm -hmm. It is not expensive to fix this problem. Mm -hmm. The Barbersville Fire, Volunteer Fire mm -hmm. Department, they're selling those green reflective double-sided signs for right. about $15, wow. so you could go pick one of those up. Yeah. And secondly, let's think about it like this. When you order a pizza online, there's that line for special That's delivery yes. instructions. Yeah. Tell that to dispatchers. Let them know that your house is on a hill, that you have a blue building, you're the second floor on the right, anything you can do right. to help them in those emergency situations. Right. Wow. All right. I have two addresses listed at my home because when they changed over the addresses, so that can also be a confusing, confusing. thing right. as well. That All right. can happen, yeah. yeah. You yeah. can see that. It's good to let them know ahead of time as if you can. As you can. All right. Yeah. Good All right. Thanks, Kelsey. Hey, thanks, Kelsey.